The Great Norfolk Pub Guide, in association with Lakens. It's about time. Well, I'm starting my journey here on Warwick Street. Now, you may know the place as the Warwick Arms or even the Mad Moose, but today it's called the Warwick Street Social. And apparently inside, they're cooking up a storm. Let's go check it out. Well, Greg, you've uh, just talk me through how long you've been in, how long you took over the premises. We actually owned the building for about 18 months, but we took on the new challenge of putting this concept in place about nine months ago, so May last year. Yeah, okay, and just when, the, when you first came into the place, it was already an established pub, urban meeting place, wasn't Correct. it? Correct, yeah, so good, well done, you picked up on that, yeah. What's changed since? The whole new concept, really, so Warwick Street Social in terms of the name and the ethos, uh, very much using our food philosophy. And to have that, you must match not only your food and your drink and your experience, but also the decor inside as well. I mean, there's something that's been completely revamped in it. Yeah, most definitely. We went to a designer in London, a lady called Catherine Mazur Hudson, who came in, we gave a specific brief. Uh, we created social zones, not just for dining, but also for the bar experience. We have the terrace outside as well. Uh, which we feel there is probably the best kept secret in the Golden Triangle. And, you know, we're on this journey now, not just to make this place the go-to place in the Golden Triangle, but we want to create this concept and make it scalable. Warwick Street Social is fast gaining a reputation for its brilliant food, and it's down to one man, Dan the man, Dan Smith. Okay, so here we've got some... Uh, I'm going to dress a little modern fish and chips here. Oh, fish and chips can't go wrong. So we've got a bit of pea puree here. Yeah. Just neatly put on the plate. So this is our, our interpretation of modern fish and chips. A little bit different. Got that there. Got my cod as well. It's my roast cod. It's been cooked in the kitchen. Like so. All sustainably caught, I oh, presume. Natural. Local. As best, as best we can, as local as possible. So we've got the potatoes there on top. We've got a bit of dehydrated tomato. Okay, every place I visit, I'm going to ask the landlord or landlady a mini quiz. Now they have the time it takes me to pour a pint of Guinness to answer those six questions. I'm going to call it six of the best. Are you ready? Indeed. Are you steady? Yep. Go. What is the best time to visit your pub? Um, well, I'd like to say the best time to visit Warwick Street Social. Definitely a Sunday lunch, uh, a remake of what we do. We've got half a pint already. Cool. What's the best memory of your pub? Our staff party. We had a rock and bronco around the back and a fire breather in the front. What's the best drink on your menu? I think a pint of Moretti. Look at that already. Now I wouldn't say that's a very good pint of Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> and we managed to get, what, three questions? Crikey. So it wasn't very long, but I will just finish off with those questions. Just very quickly, what is the best dish on your menu? I think buttermilk chicken is our remake of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay, and what's the best hangover cure known to man? I think you've got, to, you've got to start where you left off, so whatever you were drinking the night before, let's just hope you won't finish on tequila the next day. <laughs> and finally, what's the pe best pub to visit in Norfolk, apart from your own, of course? Well, not this one, but it's going to have to be the Ingham Swan, our other sister business. Yeah, it's always going to be that one, isn't it? Let the pint has settled perfectly now. So you, you pulled it time. correctly then, there. Well done. I'm going to let you into a little secret here. Now, most places are busiest on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. Well, we filmed this on a Monday afternoon. It's still very, very busy. So, Warwick Street Social should certainly be on your list to visit when it comes to Norwich pubs. Now, the benefit I have of filming the six of the best is I get to drink this as well, whilst I'm sat at the Posers Bar. Cheers. The Great Norfolk Pub Guide, in association with Lakens. It's about time.